What's up with that? It's your boy Mick Fly, man, the hardest working man in shoot tame at the day. And welcome back to the landing strip. If this is your first time over here in the land of McFly, I welcome you. I appreciate you stopping by, man. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, all that good stuff to keep you up to date with everything that I got going on. And it's always something going on, man. We're currently on the road to 5K, trying to get that done by the end of the year, man. So if everybody sub up, bro, we'll be good, you know? So y'all see where we at, y'all know I'm gonna show you a shoe. So let's go ahead and get into it, man. Today's flavor shoe variety of choice is as the cow, the carrots, croc clogs, man. Going down, y'all know, man. I show anything. This is a sneaker channel. You gonna see sneakers, shoes, sandals, flip flops, kids shoes, men's shoes, women's shoes, everything. Fasten your lap belts and let's prepare to take flight. Hi right, man, we got you locked and loaded on this close up action for all my real verse fakers. This is giving you a shot of that size tag so you can see how they coming. I don't think anybody's faking Crocs. Well, I take that back because they got like them little bootleg Crocs in Walmart and Family Dollar and, <laughs> and all that. But you know, they ain't trying to pass them off as Crocs. But that's your label. This is a men's size 8, I believe. Uh, you got your green. Crocs box. I ain't know Crocs came in boxes, man. I also heard that uh, these carriage joints, they had like a special release where um, the shoes actually came with like soil and seeds. You could like plant stuff. I thought that was a pretty cool idea. Lift lid on the joint. Interior. Nothing special. It's, it's, it's a Croc, man. It's a Croc. Shoe breaker! These retail for a whopping $75. Oh, and I told y'all in the intro, I'm Croc Gang now. So we got the blue big boy joints. I just gotta get me some jibs so I can get in the in the Croc game and be special like y'all. But for now, this is where I'm at, man. Um, how you guys feeling about these, man? Do you guys rock with Crocs? That's my first pair of Crocs that I just showed you. Um, I haven't put any real wear in them yet. Worn them around the house, but I ain't like put them on the street, so um is what it is i just want to see how people feel about them gauge them all that good stuff um these are the carriage joints they release i think exclusively the foot locker or the east bay chain or whatnot not sure how they sold but either way it's a shoe man y'all know i'm gonna review it i will review anything <laughs> anything that comes across the board um like i said retail was 75 which is way too much because i dropped like 15 dollars on the on the solid blue 75 i guess that's what a collab i guess the collabs range range in price but this is the uh, classic clog man it's basically just an all orange croc uh tag for all you tag folks sizing tags and whatnot i ain't gonna hold you too long on that but basically an all orange croc you got some green hits on it See there at the bottom, those little pods are green. You also have that uh, carrots painted on right there. And it came with the carrots jibs. You got carrots spelled out, a actual carrot. And I don't know what that is. What is that? Somebody's signature, maybe the owner or CEO, whatever. Whoever somebody's signature. Like I said, bro, I ain't do no real research, man. So don't don't crucify me because I don't know nothing about carrots. Because I don't. I just eat them. The vegetables. That, <laughs> that's all I know. I don't know nothing about the brand. Um, what I did like that they did with this shoe was the Velcro straps back here on the back. It's usually just a uh, solid like this. That joint. My daughter told me that if you put your, your strap up here, that's called putting it in sport. I, you know these kids, man. I don't know. I can't keep up, but the Velcro strap, man, I really like that to adjust to your foot or whatnot. Crocs branding back here around the back. Uh, same on this side. That was a decent touch, man, a little Velcro straps. I don't know how that would feel rubbing up against your foot all day, but it is what it is. On the back of the heel, you got a stamp back here that says made in China, where everything's made. The real shoes, the fake shoes, the not so fake shoes, the all the way fake shoes, all that. China, that's, that's, that's where it come from. Other shoe. The exact same, man. Crocs, right? It is what it is on these. Um, they got this little pattern in here on the interior of the shoe. It's like rigid. I don't know if you can really see that off the camera or pick that up. I don't know why they do that. I don't know if that's for grip or or what, but either way, 
Um, this shoe, these colors ain't bad. I wish they had to do more with the green. You know, my favorite color is green, you know what I'm saying? But you get at the top of the carrot and all that, right? Okay, cool. Yeah, y'all understand. Um, comfort on these. It's pretty solid, man. But I don't think these are as comfortable as everybody that I know who has them hyped them out to be. I don't know if it's because maybe I haven't broken in my pair enough to get the full comfort out of it. But fresh out the box, um... I, I can't say it's uncomfortable. I definitely won't say that. But this this is like a a B minus type type comfort. This ain't no A. Oh my God, I'm wild and amazed. But after I break that other pair in, man, I can do like a follow up because I'm sure more Crocs will come across. Uh, previously, I reviewed the Grateful Dead Crocs. If you haven't seen that video, you can go check that out. But um, is what it is, man. Comfort's all right. Go true to size on these, man. Don't play around with your size because you definitely don't want to run up in the front of these. That 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 is not cool. So true to size, man. You'll be good. Comforts decent. Price point for these was too high, but the regular price point for some Crocs ain't that bad. Like it's this is a shoe really anybody can have. There's not a lot of hype behind them, but they are gaining a lot of notoriety as of late with the past few years than they have previously. Because I remember when nobody wearing Crocs, but like chefs and cooks and barbers you know what i'm saying stuff with people that's up on their feet all day this was like a worker shoe now it has transitioned to the masses as a regular casual everyday wear sneakers so who knows where the ceiling lies for crocs but that's all i got to say man carries crocs on deck how you guys feel about them all that good stuff appreciate you coming through and until i upload the next video go down and watch something else man i appreciate y'all tragedy